Boker told, there are only two fish, Jesus but soon there will be many. Spread, where the saints of God are fed, he invites his chosen people, come and dine. With his manna he doth feed, and supplies our every need. Oh, tis sweet to sup with Jesus all the time. Come and dine, the master calleth, come and dine. You may feast at Jesus' table all the time. He who fed the multitude turned the water into wine. To the hungry calleth now, come and so Father, dine. we thank you for, you for allowing us to be here with one another. Brothers thank you for that you dwell in them, Holy Spirit. <laughs> Your life is in them. And God, you brought us together to build each other up, to encourage each other. Thank you that each one does, that just the, their presence being here is such encouragement. And Lord, we, we pray that you would show us that we would hear from the Holy Spirit and, and give to one another. Bless this food, bless our fellowship, bless the building up of the body of Christ across the the nation and the world through the, the showing of the films about Breakfast with You, Jesus. And Father, we want to thank you for Barry and Shelley and the work and the anointing that you have placed on their lives to do the things that they're doing. Father, we ask you to strengthen them and guide them and show them the way and give them success. Father, we ask you to sponsor them in whatever they set their hands to do according to your will. Go to our website, breakfastwithjesus.club, C-L-U-B, or unlimited.org and click on the Breakfast with Jesus tab. And then you'll hear the story I've been sharing this morning. I mean, if you know that I'm an artist, then you know about my murals, biblical murals. And I was commissioned by Attorney General Ashcroft's family to commemorate his father, Robert Ashcroft's, very famous sermon that he preached in Belgium. If you don't have breakfast with Jesus, you won't have lunch or dinner with him either. Right. And I love that. And, uh, and as, as I ended up painting that, the Lord spoke to me and he said, you should have breakfast with Jesus for many thousands of people, millions of people around the world who no longer begin their day with Jesus. Their children just grab a sack lunch and head off to the school bus they're all watching television. That's their false prophet telling them how to think and what to do all day long, what the news and the news and the weather's going to be. They rush out and somebody else has got the attention of their children. Someone else is telling them how to think about life. They get back together at night. They eat a quick meal, a quick bite while they're watching the news or watching the sports or watching television again. And that core family time of opening up the day with God in the middle of it is gone with Jesus in the middle of it. So we're going to do interviews today with some of our friends that have come to join us for brunch here at the Tulsa Prayer House. And our website for Tulsa Prayer House is tulsaprayerhouse.org. There'll be links there for Breakfast with Jesus. And we just want to start off this morning singing that old hymn. Come and dine, the master calleth, come and dine. You can feast with Jesus any time. Jesus fed the multitude, turned the water into wine. Come and dine, the master calleth, come and dine. If you go on our website, the courts and the words and the lyrics and the sheet music are there. And there's also recipes that you can cook for your family for breakfast to be an interesting meal every morning. <laughs> And there is a daily outline to read the Bible through every single day. And uh, you can also decorate your dining room like you might have seen at the opening of our show with a big uh, copy of the mural of Breakfast with Jesus. We've got a uh, wallpaper border banner and we've got um, little napkin holders that look like the center statue of Jesus holding up the fish and telling Peter to come and feed his sheep. And we have placemats. Now, why, Shelly, would we want all that stuff? To remind you, when you walk in the kitchen, that you're not to just go in, grab your toast, run and catch the bus, or catch the taxi, or drive off to work. But you're supposed to gather your family, 
have a thoughtful, meaningful, planned moment with them. 15 minutes every morning, 30 minutes every morning, a time where your family opens their day and has breakfast with Jesus. That's what it's all about. So Barry, do you want to introduce our guest today? Yes, we have the privilege of having Tom Lasko from um, <coughs> Germany. He's lived there the last 20 years, but uh, he's from the United States. What part of the country did you come well, from? I was born in Virginia, and my father was in the Navy. We moved around a lot. So I lived everywhere from Florida to New York to California. Oh, my. <laughs> Tulsa in between. <laughs> yes, yes. And uh, he's ministered. He was Rama graduate, and he ministered um, with uh, Les Pilot for a number, and Ed Dufresne as well, right? right? And uh, that's just a little bit that I know about him. Uh, he's come back to the States for the Winter Bible Seminar, so he's graced us with his presence and the anointing that he has in his life from the years of serving. And everyone should know this is totally unrehearsed. Right, exactly. Including the hymn. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We could have done a little bit. <laughs> so, uh, I still maintain uh, U.S. time zone uh, kind of uh, lifestyle. I would frequently <coughs> stay up till 3 or 4 in the morning. So, I wake up uh, often very, very late, late morning. And... The way I start my breakfast with Jesus starts out like this. Take one kilo of carrots, that's 2.2 pounds. <laughs> Take two or three apples, three if they're small, two if they're large. I'll take a piece of uh, ginger about as big as my thumb. I'll take one lemon. And uh, I will clean the carrots. I will tip them. I will peel the lemon, I will peel the ginger, and uh, just wash the apples, and I'll sit up my juicer, and once everything is prepared, I will start uh, inserting the carrots into the juicer and proceed, uh, it goes like this, most of the carrots, and then one apple if there are two in, on, the, uh, on the menu, and, and two apples if there are three apples on the menu. And so once I feed those apples into the blender, uh, then I will uh, quarter the lemon, which has been peeled, feed them in, feed the garlic. Uh, With the meat. skin too? Uh, well, I peeled the lemon. Yeah, oh, you peeled quarter, the lemon. And I forgot to mention, I'll put two cloves of garlic. Because lemon skins will, will heal cancer. Okay. Yeah. But it makes it a little bit too strong. Yeah, that's uh, true. So, uh, then I will feed the lemon and the garlic and the ginger, and then I will feed the last apple in and then finish up with the remainder of the carrots. Now, back up a little bit. Once I've prepared all the ingredients for the carrot juice mixture, when I start feeding the carrots in, I will start praying. Mm. Okay? Now, the Word tells us that, uh, first of all, we should pray for all who are in authority. Yeah. Now, I, First Timothy two fourteen. Amen. And as my template for the prayer, I will take a prayer that Brother Hagen, Kenneth E. Hagen, published in one of his Word of Faith magazines. I believe it was either late eighties or early nineties. And he said the Lord instructed him that we should all start praying intensely, uh, according to the following words. Uh, I pray for all who are in authority, all who are in authority, the President of the United States, the Vice President, the Supreme Court, the U.S. Military, the U.S. Senate, the U.S. House of Representatives, governors of state, state legislatures, and uh, I can't remember how far he went, how far in depth, but mm -hmm. he told us that we should build on his shoulders, so uh, I've amplified the prayer, and uh, I I go on, I pray for mayors of cities, town councils, school boards, school superintendents. Praise uh, God. Principal school, principal school teachers, yes. presidents of universities. Uh, I pray for law enforcement officials, 
Supreme Court justices, of state Supreme Court justices, sheriffs, law enforcement officials, policemen, security guards. I pray for de facto leaders. You know, there are de facto leaders who really aren't uh, designated as leaders, but uh, they do have influence in our society, public figures. Uh, uh, Mike Lindell comes to mind, mm -hmm. people like that who, who, need, who need intercession. I pray also for spiritual leaders such as Kenneth Copeland, Kenneth Egan Ministries, Ted Robertson, and other ministers uh, with whom I am aware. Then the, the prayer that Brother Hagen uh, recommended that we pray went on to uh, intercession, where uh, he recommended that we pray according to the following. Satan, I take authority over you in, in the name of Jesus. I take authority over you and your demon cohorts, mm -hmm. and I command you to cease and desist in your maneuvers and endeavors against the political, the economic, the social scene of the United States of America. Mm -hmm. Well, I've ampl amplified that prayer also. <clears throat> in fact, I've amplified the prayer for our leadership. I go like this. I pray for these leaders and Heavenly Father in the United States, and there are other leaders, Father, uh, across the United, uh, across the planet Earth. In other words, uh, I pray for these leaders in the United States and any other leaders in every country and region on the face of planet Earth and in every area of the universe where there is intelligent life. And Father, where there are leadership positions outside the United States for which there is no analogous position in the United States, in your wisdom. So I've amplified the prayer to that effect. Praise God. And then as far as the uh, uh, the prayer of intercession, Satan, I take authority over you and your demon cohorts in the name of Jesus. I command you to cease and desist in your maneuvers and endeavors against the political, the economic, the social. Okay, I have added on to that the health, the uh, academic scene, the university scenes in the name of Jesus. And I bind... Uh, Satan, I bind you and your demon cohort that I've just mentioned. Any entities, including artificial intelligence, I bind you from employing these entities against uh, the political, economic, social, health, etc. Scenes that I have mentioned in Jesus' name. So, and then I proceed. Usually, this prayer is completed before the carriages is completed. So, <laughs> the remaining session is. Uh, uh, that time is taken up with praying in the spirit, okay? And uh, so the whole episode might take an hour and a half between the preparation of the ingredients for the carrot juice, of uh, the juicing itself, and uh, the cleaning of, which is not a simple thing, the yeah. cleaning of the carrot uh, juice machine. So, That's complicated. <laughs> so I get a chance to pray in the spirit, pray for the, inter uh, pray the intercession against Satan, and uh, and then I pray in the spirit, and then when that's all over, I have a nice big glass of carrot juice. And Praise just... God. <laughs> so uh, that's, that's that's my nice. preference. That's good. And on days where things get jumbled and you might miss that morning routine, do you notice a big difference? Well, I feel empty. Really. Yeah. I feel empty. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes when maybe i couldn't get the carrots uh there's a holiday or something couldn't get to the store um i i will somehow manage to get that prayer time in at some point and very often when i'm uh when i'm drinking the carrot juice i have a, a cd I've loaded onto my computer it's called the pc bible which um and uh so i read a chapter a day go through the bible and then actually before i read the bible scripture uh, I have uh, Charles uh, Charles Spurgeon has uh, morning and evening devotionals. Yes. So uh, I will read one of those. It, it, quite a, uh, powerful. That's that's powerful. Well, would you pray for our viewers right now for them this morning as they're having breakfast with Jesus with us? They're tuning in. We hope we're inspiring them to do likewise. Sure. Uh, Heavenly Father, I pray that you will burden the viewers mm. with the the need to intercede for their country and, and to intercede against Satan's maneuvers, endeavors against the United States of America and every other country and region on the face of planet Earth. 
and in every area of the universe where there's intelligent life. Bergman, Father, because we are on a precipice in the United States, and actually the entire entire world, uh, by praying the way Brother Hagen and instructed us to pray, that, that we will forestall Satan's desire to create Armageddon now and, and create a, a time where the great revival can take place and and Armageddon will be forestalled and prevented from occurring now. We believe Satan's trying to bring it to pass now. But we believe our prayers will forestall it, prevent it. And so we need everyone, we need everyone to participate in uh, doing this thing. Uh, we believe it's according to God's will. And I'd like to stop there. Stretch your hands forward towards our brother, uh, Tom Lasco, and I believe, Tom, that you are ordained of the Holy Spirit to preach and to teach that which the Spirit of God has stored up within you over these decades of listening to Brother Hagen, traveling, and uh, being mentored by Lester Summerall, just like Lester was mentored by Smith Wigglesworth. And uh, he didn't need hands laid on him for an anointing or for an ordination. He was ordained by the Spirit of God for such a time as that, mm -hmm. from the moment he came forth out of his mother's womb. And that is mm -hmm. you. You've been ordained by the Spirit of God since you came forth out of your mother's womb to fly these airplanes, facilitate crusades and seminars, television, radio, mission trips, around the world with Lester Summerall and Indy Freight and others we were talking about earlier and what you're doing over in Germany right now. So very lead out is we're just all going to come into agreement with this powerful ordination of this man that he is going to go into the next step. He's going to publish books. He's going to give forth revelations of what the Spirit of God has stored up with him. Now is the time. Father, before the beginning of time, before the foundations of the world, you ordained him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, you ordained him yes. for for exploits for your kingdom. Oh, thank you, Lord. For you, Holy Spirit, God, Holy Spirit, you live inside him. You guide him. You counsel him. You continue to teach him. And thank you, Lord Jesus, that you are his life. And Lord, he he's looked. And I pray that you would put in him this unction to look for places to minister. There it yes. is. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Make him safe, self available to wherever he's at in Europe, Germany, or other places of the world. Because he's flown all over the world, Lord. We thank you, God, that you that the latter rain will be greater than this former rain. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, God. Thank you, Father. And the things that he'll impart to other people wherever he goes will be the a multiplication of the of the, the anointing of the mantles that he has been placed upon him, that he will share that, Lord, and build up your people. Thank you that he is. And he'll take people into places of prayer, that people will start following this type, type of praying, praying. Not just for five minutes, but Lord, for extended periods of time. And as this grows across the world, more and more of your power, your light, your restraining power will push back the darkness. And Lord, bring more light. So thank you for him. Thank you for his wife. We pray a blessing over her, God. And equip her as well, Lord, to walk with him, to, to, to minister with him. <laughs> yes, God. Yes, Lord, thank you. thank you. And Lord, we thank you for the angels that are go about them. May they may they sense the angels thank going you, before yes. them. Yes. yes. And behind them. And that Jesus. and Lord, that, that that hedge of protection and that covering over him that 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 you have put that, that he will step out and bring that to other people. Jesus. That other people will start walking in a greater fullness of their destiny of sons and daughters of God to proclaim, to declare, to pray that, that your kingdom come and your will be done, Father. Thank you, Father. And Lord, I thank you for the prayers of the saints up, up above right now that we're joining. There it is. We're joining. <laughs> 
yes, that we're connected in the spirit to the saints here on earth and the saints above. It's just a thin curtain, Lord. We thank you that we are not alone. There it is, Lord, that he will not sense that he's ever alone again until he goes to be with you or you come back to get him, Lord, to get us all, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Father. Thank you for surrounding us. Praise your mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. I'll tell you what, uh, anytime he called me to his room, he was working on one of his books. So yeah. I think maybe, uh, I think his books took precedent over his breakfast. Yeah, he's just yeah. got right into the word with the Lord. Yeah. It's first thing right off. Yeah. Praise and, God. and when we were flying him, if you looked in the back, he had the table out and he was working on his books. Didn't sleep very much, man, did he? he? didn't sleep much. Uh, and he was an incessant worker. Incessant. Uh -huh. I remember we went to a church in Jackson, oh, what was it? Orlando, Florida. Pastor really prevailed upon him. I want to take you to Disney World. He said, okay. <laughs> and he wasn't there probably 30 minutes or an hour. He said, I don't need to see this. I need to get back and work. Praise so he forced God. the pastor to take him back to his room where he could continue working. That was and, his pr priority. Yeah. And how long that. how old was he when he when he went to be with the Lord? Uh he was, I believe, around 87. Uh, it was, uh, I think, uh, I was actually in Europe at the time, and I boarded a plane in London and um, was headed uh, to Beirut. And I picked up a copy of the uh, International Herald Tribune, and lo and behold, on the front page, Lester Sumrall's obituary. And that's oh, how I found it. Wow. But he, I was kind of surprised that, that the world recognized who this man was to mm -hmm. put him on the front page of the something? World Herald Tribune. Out of what country was that? Uh, well, I had picked up the newspaper in London and was on the aircraft reading it on my way to Beirut. Wow. Well, thank you for sharing with us. My pleasure. Jesus has a table spread where the saints of God are fed. He invites his chosen people, come and dine. With his manna he doth feed and supplies our every need. Oh, tis sweet to sup with Jesus all the time. Come and dine, the master calleth, come and dine. You may feast at Jesus' table all the time. He who fed the multitude turned the water into wine. To the hungry calleth now, come and dine.